Queen's Gambit declined, exchange, positional line, 5, c66.e3b77.bd3nbd78.nge2. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. The pawn push on d5 is ready with e6, and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Cxd5 releases the tension between the c4 and d5 pawns, creating an asymmetrical pawn structure if black recaptures with the pawn. x5 recaptures the pawn, controls the e4 and c4 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6 the knight cannot move without losing the queen. b7 develops the dark squared bishop, unpins the f6 knight and prepares castling. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen side. bd3 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the b1h7 diagonal. nd7 develops the knight toward the center and supports the knight on f6. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This strikes the opponent's bishop. That's good. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This exposes a bishop attack. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This disregards a better method for developing a queen from its initial square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This threatens to win a pawn. It is good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to transport a knight to safety. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. By doing this, the chance to double rooks on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is quite good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. 
it is quite good. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a knight. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to send a knight to capture an outpost. It is incorrect. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. It is incorrect. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a queen threat. It is incorrect. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. This is how you impress a queen. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. That's good. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This continues down the road to checkmate. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game.